Welcome back. Today we're going to talk about sand filters. The next couple of weeks, we're going to go over all the filtration systems. Uh, but today we're going to talk about sand filters. This is a very common type of filtration device in a majority of the country. Reason number one being that it is cheap. It is the most economical filtration system on the market and that's an eye catcher for most people. The operation of a sand filter is fairly straightforward. Once it's up and running, once it's operating, you don't have to take apart um, like a cartridge filter and hose it down every couple weeks or once a month. You don't have to, uh, you know, clean filter grids on a DE system. You backwash it, right? You backwash it um, however often you need to once your PSI level goes. And that's very appealing for most people, right? It's cheap and it's easy to operate. Um, the other one, you know, goes hand in hand with it's low maintenance, you know? The sand filter itself the way that a sand filter operates is that you depending on your size you have a couple hundred pounds of sand in the filter itself if you were to take a grain of sand and put it under a microscope the sand itself is very jagged it's not flat um and when all the sand is together inside of the uh, of the filter and the debris the dirt the particles are getting filtered through your sand filter um that's how it gets trapped, right? It gets trapped through all those jagged edges. So if you're in an area where you have to run your pool all year round, you probably only need to change your sand every three to five years, depending how often you backwash your filter. If you're in an area of the country or of the world where it's seasonal, where it's basically Memorial Day to Labor Day, you could probably go five to seven years uh, between changing out the filter or the sand in your sand filter. So it's cheap, it's low maintenance, and it's very easy to operate, okay? What are the cons of having a sand filter? It is by far the least effective filtration device out there, okay? It only filters particles between 20 to 30 microns, okay? In comparison, a cartridge filter filters microns down or filters particle down to 10 microns and a DE filter could filter red blood cells. I mean, it gets it below five. It could, it could be two or three microns, uh, but below five microns, a DE filter will filter. So that's the biggest thing. Um, you know, it, it's cheap, it's low maintenance, easy to operate, but it is the least effective in actually filtering uh, particles, debris, and everything in your pool, okay? The other issue is backwashing it, you know, depending how long you backwash, how often, you're gonna have to substitute the water that you're getting out of the pool with putting more water into your pool. Um, if you have a salt system that you also have to recognize that you are dumping salt out of your pool. So along with water, you're gonna have to constantly check the salt level in your pool and add as needed. Um, the other big problem, and I, I, I'm not sure if this is a massive problem, I've only had a couple of uh, sand filters. They're not very popular uh, where I am in Central Florida. But if you have a broken lateral, uh, you're going to get a mess in your pool, right? You got to get get the sand back out of the pool, and then you have to take the top off. Um, you know, vacuum all the sand out, take the lateral out, and that is definitely um, if you're not handy. Um, that's a service call. That's a maintenance call for, uh, you know, a service tech or a pool company to go out there, you know, replace the laterals, replace the sand. Um, so if that does happen, that could definitely be a pain in the butt. So quick and simple, very popular, um, an entry level sand filter from Hayward with a 16 inch, I guess, port the way they measure it, $399. Today is June 26, 2024, 400 bucks can get you in the door with a basic entry level sand filter. Compare that to well over $1,100 for a DE filter and a decent Hayward a C900, that's gonna be 650. So if you don't wanna hassle with cleaning a cartridge filter, you, you, you know, you, you're on a budget, but you need something, a sand filter is the way to go. Um, again, understand it is the least effective when it comes to actually filtering your water but if you're on a budget 
and that's what you can afford that's what you can afford okay um if you like the video don't forget to subscribe if you got any issues if uh, you know if you're used to using a sand filter uh leave some comments uh down below on why you like it and if you can't stand sand filters leave some comments on why you don't uh, next week i will be covering cartridge filters that's personally the one i'm used to using that's what i have in my own pool and that's why the what i like the most and i'll give you my reasons my pros and cons but i gave you some of the pros for sand filters some of the cons for the sand filters um if you're still watching this at this point in the video don't forget to subscribe i'm trying to get to 500 subscribers before labor day so it gives me a little bit over two months help me get there um and i'll see you next week